welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you are new and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to take you decorating for Valentine's Day. I am so excited to finally decorate this space. We have been gone the last two weeks and it just feels good to be home and be in this area and you know everything just feels so fresh and new because I haven't seen it in so long. But I hope that you guys will enjoy this video so be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new that way I can continue to inspire and motivate you to unleash your creativity and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting off here in the dining room just trying on a couple different decor pieces seeing what I would like visually in the space and I ended up going with this mirror that is actually from Target. I got it a couple years ago but I believe they still have it. I will try to leave all everything that I can linked down below in case you guys would like to get it for yourselves as well as any DIY videos I have for anything that I've made. Um, but I cannot tell you how good it feels to be home, to be in our own space and to be creative and just decorate. I missed it so much. What does it exist? really going for a lighter tone in my house getting rid of a lot of dark items so I wanted to add these light shutters these are actually from the entryway before I redid it and that's something I really do like doing is just repurposing a lot of my decor because I love to rearrange the house quite often so if you can do that look around your house and redecorate for free it's a lot of fun <music> Now into the goodie box of florals. I have been collecting florals for probably around three years and yes I do use all of them throughout the seasons. This is more of my spring and summer bin with all the colors in here and so I'm just trying to pick out a lot of the lighter pink florals that I do have so I can decorate the house. It's not quite spring yet but Valentine's Day is definitely a way I introduce it into my house, adding lots of color. I don't know what I do without you. You make me smile. What is it that you do? I know somebody will ask, the shutters are thrifted and then these little tins are actually from Hobby Lobby. I think they're like five bucks a piece. And I added some greenery from Michaels in there and then I'm adding some smaller pink flowers. I didn't like how big the other ones were. And those ones I think are from A Floral, which I had from last year. I thought over the mirror needed a little bit of like a, um, a swag or something, but I'm gonna come back to that later. I decided to use my white pitcher, which I got from Kirkland's, and I'm adding all of these really pretty uh, cabbage roses in here. These are all from a floral. I'll be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. And then I'm gonna move on to the mantle area now. I love the way it came out for winter time, but I definitely want to add a little bit of color here. So I'm gonna be using these florals that are all from IKEA. Except the white ones, I'm pretty sure those are from Michael's like two years ago. Um, I'm notorious for keeping tags on my stuff, so I was just trying to rip that off because I knew it would show. But I'm just rearranging here, adding a little pop of color. I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Just tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You say So this heart banner is actually made out of Dollar Tree products. I will try to leave a couple Valentine's Day DIY videos linked down in the description box below if you would like to get some inspiration and make some of your own decor.
Now for the coffee table, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I don't do anything breakable on here or dress it up too much because I have little boys and we like to play and rough house. So I keep it really simple. I um, just have this um, bouquet of roses from Michaels a couple years ago and I'm just breaking apart my lamb's ear that I had from Christmas. It's kind of frosted, it's really pretty. It's from Hobby Lobby. I'm just adding that in, that in there for a little touch of green. When you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. Now for my wall tins, those are from Hobby Lobby and then I'm just going to keep them really simple, keep the lamb's ear in there as well as the cotton stems, just add the smaller pink roses for a touch of color. <laughs> Now for the TV console, I decided to add this greenery up here. It's just some garland that I have from Hobby Lobby. I went most of my florals from there because they're a better price than most stores. Um, and then I have my DIY letters that I have made. I have a tutorial on those as well. They're super easy, but I decided to just spell out the word be mine. And I'm going to add in a couple roses to this just to, again, add a little bit of color. I know I just did a makeover video on my entryway, but it's Valentine's Day and I had this large sign. This used to go on the fireplace when it was red. If you guys are originals to me, then you guys would have seen the fireplace before I made it over with the German smear. But I thought this would be perfect for this area, so all I'm going to do is just lower my nail and um, that way the sign fits in there better. up making a small little swag for the top of the mirror it's just two pink peonies a lace rose and then a little bit of greenery and I just wired it together but I really love the way it all came together Oh. 
had a lot of fun decorating my home for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the process. I just love adding the pop of color and I cannot wait to decorate for spring next. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to make some DIYs. Let me know which area of the house is your favorite and I would love to know if you guys are decorating for Valentine's Day as well. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Behind those lonely